Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. I'm popping in for one of my quick videos to let you know that my June trucks of the month are live and I just want to show them to you in a little more detail in today's video. So if you've been following along, you know that we're doing monthly quilty and cross stitchy trucks of the month. These are so cute and they are a take on my vintage Christmas uh, quilt pattern, which was the one that started all of the truck patterns. You guys are loving the vintage trucks, so am I, and today's truck is no different. As a matter of fact, I think this one might be my all-time favorite. So let's start with the stitchy truck. So here is the June Stitchy Truck. I love the fun colors on this. It just screams summer to me. And one of the things that is so awesome is this background fabric. So let's just take a quick look at that. Now I know my backgrounds are messy, but you've seen them all before. These are the new plaid prints by Elizabeth Hartman. And I got them in my Sew Sampler box. And isn't that just such fun, vibrant summer colors? I loved them so much. So I went ahead and used them on our June truck. And then let's take a quick look at that June truck. It features an adorable surfboard on the top, a couple of beach balls in the bottom, and then look at all this cute little family of crabs just hanging out in the sand. And then there's a little flower hanging off of the end letter. And then I did do a sun on the truck because I thought that was so cute. So these colors were so fun to stitch with. And if you're a beginner cross stitcher, these trucks are perfect because they're quick and easy. They're not hard at all. I have a three-part series on this channel teaching you how to do cross stitch for beginners. It's just super basic um, and hopefully I answer all the questions in those videos so that you can do these uh, truck patterns and they're just so much fun. I'm loving stitching them and I also love just having them hang in my room each month. I just swap them out. If you saw my finishing video, you know they're just on magnets. There's a washer on the back of these. They're just hot glued together and then I just can reuse this and hang it on my wall every month. So Super cute June stitchy truck of the month. Let's look at the quilty truck. Now I know I've been saying that I wanted to up my quilting game and I've been trying to do that and this month I decided to take a little bit of a risk with my quilting. So I'm gonna show you that part first. You can see those little swirlies that I tried to do. So I did swirls all across and I just did rows of swirls for this one. And so here is what it's looking like. I think it turned out really cute. Now, um, I was a little nervous because I haven't done swirls like that before. So I tried drawing them on first with my friction erasable pen. And I actually do better with the machine, drawing with the machine freehand than I did with the pen. So instead what I did was I took my ruler and I just marked even sections all the way down. So I just did horizontal lines so that I knew about what area to fill with my swirls. That worked out a lot better, so if that helps any of you, um, that's awesome. And they aren't perfect by any means. I know it's hard to tell on camera, um, but I definitely, you know, I definitely messed up. <laughs> here and there, so that's okay. The other thing I'm thinking about doing is I do have some gaps because I just did the same row of swirls over and over. So I actually have gaps in between each swirl section and I'm thinking about going back and filling those in. I've been watching a lot of Angela Walters quilting and she said that people won't notice if you made mistakes in your quilting so much as they'll notice a random gap where there is no quilting. So I think I might actually go back and do a little more quilting on this. Um, hopefully I don't like just completely ruin it. I suppose if I did, I could make another one, but I probably won't. Anyways, I'm having a lot of fun and I'm stepping out of my box and going for it. So, uh, but anyways, let's get to the design. So here's the truck. It has that same surfboard on top with some beach balls in the bottom. And then of course the June lettering. And I did this fun yellow because I thought it kind of resembled sand a little bit on the bottom there. These are all Lori Holt prints and these are just from my stash. So I just have random uh, rainbow colored scraps of her fabric in my stash and so I just put all those together and then on the back side I used one of the panels and this is just her patchwork panel so it kind of looks like you patchworked something together but it really is just the fabric itself and so that was really fun and then I also did this cute aqua binding on it oh and there you can kind of see the quilting so see that empty space in there where I sort of don't have anything. Thinking about going through, back through and just doing some little, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how brave I'm feeling, but there's the back. I did forget to put a label on this one, true to form, um, but I could always go back in and stitch one in by hand. 
So there it is, Quilty Truck of the Month for June. Here they are together. They don't match exactly this month just because of my fabric choices, but I like them both individually on their own. And so I don't think I would have done anything different. Um, I had a lot of fun making these and a lot of fun just thinking about summer coming soon because it is still a little bit chilly here. It's coming, spring is peaking out, but it hasn't quite gotten to those really warm temperatures yet. We've had a lot of rain and uh, I live in Colorado if you're new to my channel. And so we always have a very last minute spring snowstorm that dumps like about two feet of snow on us. So I know we're not out of the woods yet, but these new patterns are definitely helping make it a little bit better and get me looking forward to summer. So those are my June quilty and stitchy trucks of the month. I hope you enjoy them. I will put a link on where you can get them below. You can also just go to shop.confessionsofahomeschooler.com and then you can just search for the word June and both of these will pop up. Thank you so much for stitching along and quilting along with me on these trucks. We only have one more left, the July truck, and then we'll be done with the entire series. I will bundle them all up in paper and PDF format so you can get them all at once. If if you have not already purchased them individually um, and I'm looking forward to doing that. So thanks so much for joining me for today's video. If you liked it, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe. You can also hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming fun. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I will see you next time.